Ranger Kooky, and I want to show you this pretty park. You just saw the intro of this park, and I just want to show you some of the park, uh, the uh, camping area places I have picked to camp in if I camp in this area. There's a bathroom right here. We love a bathroom nearby. It has a shower and running water. The water is nice and warm. It was getting hot when I was doing a test. Um, the reason why we like to go to a place when you got close to the bathroom, just in case you have to go, we don't have to walk far to go to the bathroom. So here are some of my picks at this park. I'm gonna tell you why we pick, I, we or me picked it. This one's just one little lane goes to a point. Let's take a look. I think this is a double wide. Double wide means two families can camp in this one area. There is two electrical boxes, two running waters, two picnic tables. And a nice view of the lake. The reason why we always pick ones by the lake, it has this nice beautiful view we can look at. Look, you got a white crane, or what do we call that thing, a, a quacker. Uh, I got a bunch of trees, we can have hang hammocks, and a couple of places we can put your uh, tent. Note right here, it's a water area. So not recommending to put your campsite in this location. See how the leaves are in the water. So this would be a bad area to put a, a tent. Hammock, no problem, right here. Maybe right here too. It'd be better because it'd be less in water if it rains. Look at this view of this beautiful pond. Alright, let's take a look at the other properties they have for rent here. And just enjoy and take the, the breath away. Ah, somebody's going into one of my camping areas that I wanted to show you. Here's the other place that we uh, we have picked. It's close to the water, a little farther away from other people. Well, it's right there is the other bench. So when we choose a place, we always try to place a, a, a far apart, so our neighbors won't be reaching out and saying hi to us.
there's another little camping area, but it's real close to your neighbor. So when we go a mile here, we always find a place away from others so you can have more privacy. And here's one that's away from a lot of people. Let me show you this little area. This one is a nice one. Has plenty of trees in the location. But it's real close to the road and away from the bathroom, but it's closer than most camping areas. There's a little lodge thing up there. That's a nice little balcony and everything up there. Here's another little spot we'll take. It's away from the other neighbor. As long as we got some distance sometimes or some trees in the middle and some uh, bushes, we enjoy that. Look at that lodge. All right, this is a nice piece of property. If you're going to make sure you're going to be here, check the water. Make sure we got water. We got water. Electrical box. All depends on what you're doing. Kind of like this area because it's that nice opening. Your neighbor's over there, kind of blocked with some trees. We don't like to go to a place and your neighbor's right there and. You, touch your neighbor and this was a dead end if I'm not mistaken yeah it's a dead end a little loop a loop and this is the last one we have picked because it's away from everybody else it looks like a double double means two families plus it was more more expensive to rent because it's double but sometimes me and my friend likes to have a double so we can have two tables to sit on and let's take a look the first thing we do is find out how much sun's on the table. That one's in the shade, and this one's in the sun. It's a nice little spot. Uh, plenty of hammock areas down by, by the beach. And up here, there's a road up there. Might be a little noisy. We we'll always try to get real close to the beach so we have something to look at. Might go fishing. Blah, 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 blah. But this is the Wayne's Burrow, I think. Wayne's, whatever. That park I showed you. <laughs> and that's it. I just want to walk right by, show you the road. And the restrooms. Look at that. Doesn't look like I have air conditioning. Yeah, there's air conditioning unit right there. So it's, they got air conditioning in those. Those lodges or whatever you call them things. Okay, looks like it has a uh, ice box, stove, and all kinds of stuff for you accommodations.
I wish I could go camping like that. A million dollar home. Hello. All right. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki. I'll see y'all next video. Well, I'm Ranger Kuki. And I'm out here at the Wayne's Barrels Water Park. And I picked number 38. The number 38. The reason why is a little cheaper inland than outland. It went like 48 bucks for that. 24 for this one. Take a look. I'm doing a Make sure I have all my gear and the gear I want for the rendezvous. So this is a test before I go on a big vacation. I usually go to a small park and make sure all my gear is what I want. This is where I'm going to set my hammock up tonight. Come take a look. I'm thinking about going between that tree and this tree here. I have my two camera stands ready for the action pack uh, review. And this is the location I'm going to camp at. A little further from my uh, picnic table, but there's a sleeping quarters and the eating quarters. All right, let's get going, and I'll uh, see you in a few minutes. I'm Ranger Googie, and I'm going to show you the, the other gear I got before before I leave. I have Larry, I have Pickles, Mr. Pickles, and all the other rest of the my gear. And my giveaway stuff for my big giveaway. And that's what I'm doing. I'm going through my camping gear, make sure I got all my gear that I want and I need. And here's the uh, video of putting my hammock up. All right. Well, good morning, everybody. This is my camping day. Is now over with. I'm gonna show you how I put everything up. All right, I'm Ranger Cookie. <laughs> yeah. And and enjoying a nice cup of tea. All right. Well, this is what I brought out here because this is one of those tarts. Yeah, take a look. It was enough shelter for one person to two people with this little tarp I put up. And take a look. Look, it's Mr. Pickles and Larry. They had fun last night. And this is my car camping setup. And whenever I go in the woods, which is very rare, but this could be used. Then I have my gear set up over here. It's in a hammock, all my gear. Um, a few things I might need to do. Oh, I see why the blanket fell off. Just move the two blankets over more over the uh, this area so it'd be warm. But I was nice and warm in there. I had enough blankets in there for myself. I had a zero silly sleeping bag. This was, this was open, give me airflow. I could have closed it off with folding this over, but. It was all right. I didn't. I woke up one time, and I 
when I fell asleep, I didn't have this over, and I just woke up and moved it over. And that's it. Take a look in the back. Now this is to pull the tarp away from my hammock, because that absorbs moisture and it gets wet. Believe it or not, it's weird. It just gets wet and I'm wet when I'm sleeping in there. And I just went all the way up here and back. I could have used the stakes if I didn't have the tree. And I'm glad I left those long so I could do that. A little opening here. If I had to use the bathroom or go out. Or emergency exit. Basically that's what this is. Emergency exit. I can exit it on any side. Alright, uh, see you in a few minutes putting this baby down. Now, I'm going to put up my gear hammock. This is the strings from my hammock over there. So what's a gear hammock? Well, just to get your gear off the ground, out the weather, this is what we're gonna use. All right, now I'm gonna put all my gear in this baby. Hang my bag up. And put the, my rest of my gear. I got my food in my hammock. I got my equipment in. My And just take my bag and throw it underneath my hammock with me. And when I need it, I just grab it. That's where these little monkey ball balls come in handy. Make sure you tie your tarp up below. That's the rope. There you have it. All my gear is protected from the elements, and I'm ready to camp out for the night. I'm Ranger Cookie. I hope you enjoy my hammock setup. This is for my gear, extra hammock, and over here, I just all I do is tied up my tarp and just tied it up real quick so I can get some air in here. Now, if I want, I can put my my Molly 2 in, in the car and it will never get wet. But if I'm in the middle of nowhere, I'll just hang it up in the tree. Right now, I don't think the weather is going to be any type of rain today or tomorrow. So I'm going to just leave it like it is. If it was going to rain, I'll hang it up in a tree over there on the uh, hammock side or this side. And it'll be protected underneath the tarps. All right, I'm Ranger Kooky. I did bring extra stuff and just in case I give and take some of this stuff because the tarps depends on the tarps and it depends on the weather. All right, I hope you enjoy the Ranger Kooky setup. Like I said, tonight, if it gets too warm, I can move these sheets off. If not, I'll leave them on. All right, bye bye. See you next video. I hope you enjoy my camping video.